Hi guys, there were a couple of threads recently in the groups um, regarding dye colorants and fading issues. Um, I just wanted to do a little experiment to show you how the water soluble dye powders, these are like the pure dyes, um, actually do fade in UV light. This is why we have a little sun here, see? Um, <laughs> lake dye will fade as well, of course, but they are much less prone to doing so. Um, same with bleeding and all of that stuff. Um, they're also a lot less concentrated than the dye powders. So there's pros and cons to both of them. It just depends. Um, so anyway, what I've done is I've got these rainbow embeds that I made the other day. And you may know that I had some humidity issues with them. They went all um, funny and bumpy. So I didn't want to use them in my bath bombs. So I thought I'll place one of these out in the sun today. Um, we started off with about... UV index 3 early in the morning and then it crept up really slowly to UV 10 which is quite quite high. Uh, I had to bring them under the patio for a couple of hours in there because it started drizzling and I didn't want them to you know react in the backyard because that would have defeated the whole purpose of the experiment. Uh, so I've used this one here and this bright pink which is red 28 in water soluble dye powder uh, because red 28 is one of the worst defenders when it comes to fading so is blue number one though I find it's worse in uh, certain applications than it is in bath bombs it will still fade in bath bombs but I find it fades in bubble bars a lot more like it, you don't even need UV on it if you put some bubble bars in blue in your cupboard they'll just fade over time not sure what it is about the blue but it's a finicky little bugger so anyway here is the rainbow bar after the day was over as you can see the purple has gone a bit funny because it had pink in it and the pinks if you can have a look see there's a bit of pink there down the bottom where it was you know now look at these they seem like bricks i love it okay now this one's great Let's have a look at the end result of the red 28. Check that out. So that is after a day just sitting on a container in the sun. You can see underneath is still quite hot pink, which is great. But yeah, so that gives you an idea of just how much these guys will fade. Uh, and this goes for the liquid version as well. It's, it's just the dyes themselves. If you want something that's not going to fade so much, I would stick with lake dyes, uh, whether that be in liquid or a powder form because they are less prone to fading. Uh, but if you want the, you know, the crazy concentration of the pure dyes, then stick with them. But just remember to package your products wisely. Uh, if you wholesale your products to shops where they're likely to go into a window, then I would recommend using boxes and putting a picture on the outside or um, printing off a nice, I don't know, laminated image of what is inside the box. Or just tell them if, you know, they can keep them away from the window. But you may find even if they're away from a window, if there's light coming into the store, they may still fade. So it's probably best just not to use them if you are wholesaling to somewhere where UV is going to get at them. Or, yes, repackage them in a way that it's not going to matter. So there you go. I hope that helps. Um, that just, you know, shows you that they do fade. And I won't touch on the staining issue at the moment because that's a whole, whole nother issue. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps and I will see you later.